there was an idea to bring together a group of remarkable people to see if they could become something more. So when they needed us, we could fight the battles that they never could. last night was crazy but before I start this warning to anybody that don't want to know nothing about the movie and want to go see it on their own don't watch this video but leave a like and subscribe to it before leaving to everybody else at first I did not want to do this review because I've been battling all night long whether I should do it or whether I should not because the way the movie was last night and the ending was it was ah. Uh, and I was just speechless about the whole thing. But when I woke up this morning, I decided to do a mute. I decided to do the review. So this is about to be the full review of all that I remember from the movie last night. So this is what happened last night at Avengers Infinity War. Spoilers and all. So again, you don't want to know what happens. Don't watch this video, like and subscribe and share before you leave. But other than that, you're about to be in for a ride. Let's go. So, I'm gonna make this as, let me see, I'm gonna make this as painless as possible. But also, I'm gonna make this kind of brief too because everything was going on in the movies last night and like it was all over the place not all over the place the story was the old place i mean like it was taking place in different scenes so here's how i started thanos came and um thanos came on the ship where the asgard people was and he destroyed him he killed him though and he killed loki he snapped his neck and he was about to kill uh thor but he had to get the information out of loki about where the space stone was which he had the whole time but then Loki was like, we have a Hulk. And the Hulk came over and was kicking Thanos' ass for a little bit. And all of a sudden, Thanos got the, Thanos got the upper hand on him and started kicking his ass. So, yeah. And then, uh, before he killed him, though, him the son Hulk to Earth to warn the others that he was coming, which he did. So that's what made him kill him. Though. But then, once he killed them, and then he left uh, Thor there to die, which he didn't. So, we go to Earth, Bruce Banner... He turned back into Bruce Banner and he was like, Thanos is coming. So Dr. Strange met up with Tony Stark and said, hey, I'm Dr. Strange. We have a problem. We need you to come and talk to us. And that's when the Hulk seen Tony Stark. And they met up with each other and hugged each other because they ain't seen each other for a long time. So it was like, Thanos is coming. Thanos is coming. And um, that's when some of his minions came on Earth just now. And then they tried to take on them. So it was Iron Man, Hulk, and Dr. Strange at first. But... Hulk couldn't turn into the Hulk because he was scared because Thanos kicked his ass. So, um, so there's that. And when they was fighting, it was just Iron Man and Doctor Strange. But while they was fighting, another hero came into the fray, Spider Man. So Spider Man was helping them out, and then they all went into space on the ship because they captured Doctor Strange to try to get the Time Stone. So Doctor Strange, Iron Man, and Spider Man is in, off into space now. We're gonna fast forward into, um, I would say Scotland, I think. Yeah, fast forward to Scotland. And I'm gonna let this guy tell you what happened. Well, actually, Stark, um, before they went to Scotland, I think, um, I think, yeah, the Hulk had to make a call. He had to call up an old buddy of his. So, when that happened, we, okay, we, I think, we go to Scotland now where Vision and Scarlet Witch was. And they was having an intimate moment together, but then, uh, some of Thanos' minions came and tried to fight them off, fight them off. 
which they did follow him a little bit, but they tried to get the stone out of his head, which looks very painful. Then they stabbed him. Scarlet Witch tried to protect him at all costs, but it was getting overpowered. And all. then in comes Captain America and Black Widow and Falcon and all of them and helped him out. So they helped him out and got everything secured or whatnot. And then um, we jumped into space where the Guardians of the Galaxy was and they were searching for whatever they were searching. Then they stumbled across the Ask Guardian destroyed spaceship where they saw Thor. Brought Thor in. Thor was like, who are you guys? And they was like, we're the Guardians of the Galaxy. And yada, 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 yada. He was talking about Thanos. He killed his brother. And then they told Gamora he's the, she's the daughter of Thanos. And then he was telling them that we need to stop him at all costs and whatnot. And I know where I can go. I can go to this place that uh, makes all of the special weapons to kill Thanos. Called the Thanos Destroyer Weapon or the Thanos Killer Weapon. So him, Groot, and Rocket sought off to go and deal with him. And then um, we're going to come back to Earth. What was I? Oh yeah, I think uh, we're going to come back to where... Oh, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think we're coming back to Earth. Okay, alright, we're back to Earth and Captain America... Captain America um, is back to the Avengers headquarters where uh, War Machine is. And they was telling them about uh, good to see you. We got a problem. Such and such is coming. Thanos is coming. Then the Hulk was there, and him and Black Widow met up. And it was like, hey, hey, and stuff like that. You know, catching up on old stuff. But then they was like, it, I think there's a way we can get visions, uh, the stone out of vision without him dying. So Captain America was like, I know someone that can do it. So they sought off to go to Wakanda, but they didn't go to Wakanda yet. So we're gonna. Um, go now into the spaceship where Tony Stark and what's Iron Man, Spider-Man, Doctor Strange is. They try to interrogate Doctor Strange. They try to get uh, the time stone off of him, but it wouldn't come off of him. So Tony, Iron Man, and Spider-Man uh, was, uh, wait, 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 go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. First, before we get to there though, um, Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, Gamora, Drax, and Star Lord, all of them, they tried to uh, attack Thanos from behind because Thanos went to the Collector and got the Reality Stone. So he has three stones now. He got the Reality Stone, I think. Did he get the Reality Stone? Yeah, he got the Reality Stone then. So uh, Gamora uh, actually went and tried to kill him, but it wasn't him, it was the fake him. It was a fake him. So when he had the reality stone, he showed what it really was. And Gamora tried to kill herself. Well, at first, Star Lord was about to kill her because she was like, "If he ever gets the stone, I want you to kill me because I know where the Soul Stone is, and I don't want him to know where it is." So Star Lord agreed to kill him, but he couldn't do it. But when he was about to pull the trigger, Thanos changed the uh, the ammo into bubbles. So it was bubbles coming out of his gun instead of like real firing on. So he took Gamora and then they went on. Now fast forward to um, on the ship with Tony Stark, Spider-Man and um, and yeah, Doctor Strange was. They tried to get it out of Doctor Strange, couldn't do it. So him and Spider-Man, Iron Man and Spider-Man tried to come up with a plan to destroy the dude, which they did and succeeded. But um, at the same time, the ship was going off course, so they had to reroute it, and they went crash land on Thanos' home planet, Titan. Um, yeah, they crash landed on Titan, where um, they were supposed to, um, I guess, yeah, that's where he was going next, Titan. So that's where um, they went and crash landed. But I'm gonna let this guy explain the other part. See ya. So, um, let me see. What did he leave off? What did he left off? What happened after that? Uh, when they did crash land on Titan, the Guardians of the Galaxy was there too. They crash land on Titan too to see uh, what what was up and what was going on. So, but actually, that didn't happen yet. After they crash landed, they um, went to Thanos 
and Gamora back to where they was, I think. Or what they was already or were they already on Titan before they got there? Whatever, but anyway, Gamora and Thanos was somewhere. I forgot the planet's name. They were somewhere and um they had like a little flashback history or whatnot. But uh make a long story short, Captain America's uh villain, the Red Skull, he came back and uh told him how he possesses the soul stone. You have to give up something you love to get the soul stone. So a soul for a soul. So he gave up Gamora. Gamora was the only thing he loved, so he killed her, threw her off the uh big old ledge and he got the soul stone. So now back to Titan. Spider-Man, um, well, before uh, they went to Titan, let's go to Wakanda. Went to Wakanda, Captain America and Black Widow, Falcon, now they had vision and they brought him to Wakanda to get the thing out of his uh, head. But at the same time, they realized that somebody was coming and it was um, Thanos' army that was trying to get in, so they all prepared for battle. Now we're going to switch back over to Titan where Iron Man, Spider-Man and uh, Doctor Strange met up with the Guardians of the Galaxy. And they tried to prepare to figure out how to take down Thanos, but Thanos has arrived now with four stones. He has four stones with him right now. They was kicking his ass. They tried to kick his ass, kick his ass, kick his ass. But they, uh, he got the upper hand for the most part. But at one point, they had him strapped down. They had him strapped down. They could have got the glove off and everything. And Mantis had his uh, mind under control, but. Star Lord asked what you did with Gamora, his girlfriend, and then he had no choice but to tell the truth. He was like, he had to do it. He had to kill her to get the Soul Stone. So, under rage and mindless fury, Star Lord hit him across the head. He kept on hitting him across the head, and that woke him up. They almost had the glove off his hand. They almost had it off his hand, but he went back, got the glove back on, and started beating the crap out of the rest of them. And he actually stabbed. Tony Stark in the chest, not chest, but like in the abdomen area, stabbed in the abdomen area, and actually he was on the brink of dying. But Dr. Strange was like, no, don't do it. Spare his life, and I will uh, give you the time stone, which he did. He got the time stone, and he went on, and then he went off. He went off into the, um, you know, actually he went to Earth. But, before you went to Earth, I gotta tell you this other part. I'm gonna let this little guy tell you. Okay, guys. Um, okay, before they, before he went to Earth, Thor, Rocket, and Groot actually stumbled up a dwarf that makes all the weapons for, he made him, uh, yeah, he made Thor's hammer and he made the gauntlet glove for the Thanos. So he told them they need to go somewhere to, in order to make the, it's a axe since um, Thor's hammer got destroyed he made the axe for him so they went there made the axe for him but the only way they didn't make the axe that um, Thor had to sacrifice his power like himself he had to generate the power in order for it to generate and make the uh, axe for him which group Groot he helped him out too in making the axe so there's that and on earth <coughs> back on earth they was ready to fight Black Panther Hulk which was Bruce Banner was in the Hulk Buster uh, thing since he couldn't turn into the Hulk. Uh, did I say Black Widow? I probably said it already, but them and the rest of the crew, they took on all of Thanos' army. At first, they tried to make a peace with him, but they didn't want to make peace with him. So, they had a force field around Wakanda. The whole army tried to get through there and tried to uh, find a force field, but they was going around the back. He was like, if they go around the back, they'll, get, they'll have a better chance of getting the vision if they go around the back so T'Challa was like open the force field so when they opened the force field then when they all came scattering in then the battle begins they was kicking butt blood sweat and tears was everywhere but they was getting the upper hand of all of them but that's when Thor came Thor rocket and group came with the axe lighting and everything and Thor had his costume back and his axe and then the axe was working as a charm they was uh, handling off the Thanos' army, but then Thanos arrives. <clears throat> he arrives on Earth, and they all sought their attention on Thanos. 
Um, so went to Soldier, tried to come in, he swapped him away. Cap uh, not Captain, uh, Black Widow tried, he swapped her away. Black Panther, he just swapped him away. Same thing with, um, I forgot her name, but she is with Black Panther. She's bald, black, bald, and I think she was one of his soldiers, but he swatted her away too. And Captain America, he came and he tried to, uh, well, Falcon and Morb Machine, he swatted them away too. Then here comes Captain America. He was trying to defend them. He was getting the upper hand. He was beating them, but Thanos was, was taking it at like a champ. He was taking it like a champ, and then he was about to uh, put the gauntlet glove on him, but Captain America had the gauntlet glove, and he was actually resisting Thanos. And Thanos was like, what? How, how is you doing this? You're just a man. How in the world is you resisting? But Captain, with all his might, was resisting. He was strong and had him. But all of a sudden, Thanos came with a right hand and boom, knocked him out. And then that's what Vision, Scarlet Witch was. Scarlet Witch, she had to take Vision out because Vision wanted him to do it. And he was like, if it comes down to it, destroy the stone. So she was destroying the stone. But here comes Thanos. She was holding him off too, but Thanos was coming, itching, 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 coming. All of a sudden, she destroyed the Mind Stone, but forgot that Thanos is now possesses the Time Stone as well. So, all he was, all he did was like, I don't blame him. I would have done the same thing too, but you forgot. He had the Time Stone, so he went back in time. He rewind time and got the stone before it even got blowed up and he took the stone right out of Thanos's I mean Vision's head and put it on the um put it on his glove and now for the final parts of the movie I'm gonna let the leader the king explain it to you Wakanda Baba Anyway, though, um, yeah, here's where the ending part came. The ending scene, yeah, it was gruesome. But anyway, when Thanos has had all of the stones, he now possesses all six of the Infinity Stones. But Thor came with the axe and shot it in his chest. So he pushed the axe into his chest and then they thought that they th had Thanos, they thought he won. But really Thanos was like, you should have, you should have cut off my head. So he had the glove, Thor was like, no! Then Thanos just snapped his fingers and all of a sudden the glove just whoosh, Whatever that meant, uh, it, it did something throughout the whole area and then Thanos is he went away into the portal. He just stepped back into the portal and he escaped. But there was a cost. By him snapping his glove, went to soldier. He started evaporating. Well, disintegrating. Like sand like disintegrated, so he's dead, he's dead. Who else uh, started to die? Um Wakandas. Half of the Wakanda people, or most of the Wakanda people, they was disintegrating. It's turned into sand, they disintegrated. Falcon, he disintegrated. Um, who else disintegrated? Um, Scarlet Witch disintegrated. Black Panther, he disintegrated. Um, who else disintegrated? Uh, uh, Groot. Groot started disintegrating. And that's all I knew that disintegrated over there. Now we jump into space. Drax, the destroyers started disintegrating. Uh, Menace disintegrated. Doctor Strange, he disintegrated. And that's when, that's when everybody in the movies last night got emotional. They got emotional because Spider-Man, Peter Parker, he started disintegrating, but the way he disintegrated, it just was like Tony, Tony, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Please don't let me die. Don't let me die, please. Then he fell to the ground and he was like, I'm sorry. And he disintegrated too. So basically, when the soldier died, Scarlet Witch died, Falcon died, the uh, group died. Did I say Scarlet Witch? Yeah, she already died. And we know Vision, he died since he took the um, Soul Stone out of Black Panther died. 
which I was like, he died? Oh man. Um, yeah, I said group. No, let me do it again. When the soldier died, uh, Scarlet Witch died. Uh, Vision died. Group died. Black Panther died. Uh, half of Wakanda them died. Well, most of Wakanda them disintegrated and died. Peter Quill, Star Lord died. Doctor Strange died. Drax died. Manus died. Peter Parker, Spider Man, he died. Uh, yeah, that's who all that mainly disintegrated too. But then they was wondering what was going on. What happened? So what was left was Iron Man was left, Captain America was left, Thor's left. Um, when I say left, they mean they're alive. Captain America's alive, uh, Iron Man's still alive, Thor's alive, Incredible Hulk is alive, Black Widow is alive, War Machine is alive. So they was like, what now? But then here's the ending scene. The ending scene was where Thanos is, was going back to Titan. Titan was resurrected and half of his population Half of the population that died on Earth, they came up to Thanos' home planet, which was uh, Titan. So half of the population from Earth just reappeared on Titan. So it was Titan peoples that resurrected from the dead. And Earth people, half of the population of Earth died. And Titan reappeared. And so Thanos was looking off into the distance on the ship and his planet and the movie just cut off right there and the end of the scene was when uh it was agent hill and nick fury they was going throughout new york and they was uh saying what was going on between the situation and thanos and everything and all of a sudden people started crashing helicopters fall from the sky because they looked over and they seen Pino. people was disintegrating so then agent hill started disintegrating but before anything could happen nick fury tried to page this specific person before he disintegrated. But while he was disintegrated, he almost said it. Samuel L. Jackson almost said it. He said, mother. <laughs> but before he said the F word, he disintegrated. And on the street, he was paging someone. And who he was actually paging was, yes, you guessed it, Captain Marvel. So that's a little segue to the Captain Marvel movie that's coming out this year. But yeah, that was Avengers Infinity War. Hope I explained it best of my abilities. But yeah, that was it. Okay guys, so yeah, that was the whole movie. I hope I explained it good enough for y'all to either go check it out or you know, just know what happened. But yeah, I was shocked last night. That ending really was shocking because Marvel have has never done that before. They ended the movie with a sad ending. First 10 years ever they ever did something like that. But yeah, Avengers Infinity War. That was it. That was the whole thing. Post your comments down below. Let me know what you guys thought. If y'all enjoyed my movie review, well, movie review, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. I'm so destruct, I don't even know what to do, man. It was, I'm still in shock and awe of last night. Three million subscribers. I am out at 7,000. See ya. What's up, guys? This is Jerome Tron. I just want to tell all y'all to thank you all for all y'all support and subscribing to my channel and leaving comments on my video and just enjoying my reaction. But yeah, man, I want y'all to like keep it coming. Keep it coming, man. Keep it coming. Tell me what y'all like, what y'all don't like. And what reaction video, not reaction video, what videos y'all want me to react to and all that good stuff. I love, um, I love responding to all y'all comments and I just love interacting with everyone because, man, it makes me feel, it makes me feel alive. It makes me feel here, man. My dream, my dream is to one day uh, film a Marvel movie, like be the cameraman behind the Marvel movie. Or DC, don't matter. A superhero movie, but I prefer Marvel. But yeah, that's my long dream, man. I started this seven years ago with camera and stuff, and I just started this reaction stuff a year ago. But yeah, man, y'all keep doing what y'all doing, and I'm truly grateful to have all y'all out there supporting me and my channel and all that good stuff. Oh, and by the way, y'all go follow my other social media sites, my Facebook, 
my Instagram, my Snapchat, and my Twitter. All that good stuff. And my gaming channel over there. I'm playing some games. All my gamers and everybody out there who likes gaming and want to check me out playing them games, y'all go ahead and go over there too. But anyway, guys, y'all keep up the great work. Keep up the great work. Y'all just do what y'all do, man. Three million subscribers. I'm out to 7,000. See ya.